We start with a story that drew a lot of attention on Midland Drive, a police presence all up and down the road and reports of shots being fired, especially near here, Dengar Avenue, Rachel Robinson. She was on the scene shortly after the Midland police were called just before noon yesterday. She's been following the story since then. She's got more about who the victim was and images from the scene and also one key detail tonight. Police aren't talking about the case. Rachel. Tatum, the victim of the shooting was Jay Shun Anders, who was only 19 years old. Right now, nobody has been arrested or charged in the shooting, and we don't have many details from the Midland Police Department. I was at the scene earlier today, and there were a lot of shots fired at the Spectrum apartment. Apartments up and down Midland Drive near the Spectrum apartment complex were blocked off Sunday morning after Midland Police were dispatched about a call of a gunshot victim around 11 a.m. That victim, Jayshun Anders, was shot here in apartment number 208, where there are over 25 evidence markers where bullets hit or ricocheted off the building, right above an apartment that had kids' toys and bikes under it, some getting near that apartment. A candle also placed by the door in memory of Anders, inches from where blood stained the cement. Right now, nobody has been arrested in connection with this case. Since nobody has been arrested in this case, the question remains. Is the person or persons who fired those bullets still out there? I asked city officials if there is someone citizens should keep an eye out for, and they said they, quote, have not received additional information at this time. So we really have no information on if the minimum police are looking for someone. We will, of course, keep you updated on this story once we find out more information. Tatum, back to you.